so you just open it like that you twist this and then you put it in it clicks and that's it it's ready to insert or ready to be inserted rather and then and that's it it's on Hello family, I just received a, a notification today on my phone that my sensor has finished. It normally lasts 14 days, right? So it's finished and, um, and I wanted to insert a new one. So I just thought, okay, why not just come to the yellow chair and, um, and document it and show you guys how I do it. So that's what I'm doing today is inserting this Libra sensor 2 um, on my arm. Okay. Just before I do that, right, so why am I using a sensor? The simple answer to that, my people, na control, right? It it like two things I preach on this channel is understanding the beast and then controlling the beast, right? If you if you understand the beast, you are able to control that beast, right? And that's what I call this condition is a beast, right? So the best tool that the best tool to give you control is is data, right? If you have data then you're able to make more informed decisions about about your diabetes and that's why that's why i use i use this um i use the sensor okay this is not a this is not a review of this product this is not an unboxing of this product um if you want me to do an unboxing of this product i can where i will i will do a separate show and 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 tell you guys about the um all the functionalities of of the product but this is not a review of that i'm just inserting this on my on my arm today but just before i i insert it quickly i need to talk about the two main providers of this product right so this one is the freestyle libra 2 which is what i've been using in the last year okay there is also another big provider of the same similar ser uh, service called the dexcom right so um Abbott Healthcare, the guys who do this um, freestyle um, um, sensors and, and, and the Dexcom, they are both really, really good products. Okay. I, I'm, I'm not favoring one over the other. I've, I've used the Dexcom last year. I used Dexcom 6 last year. It was a very, very good product. Uh, they've upgraded. They don't upgrade now to Dexcom, Dexcom 7, I believe, which is like a really, really good product very quick to pair with the sensors on your phone all the functionalities there there you can look at your 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 graphs your daily um, sugar level hba1c which is like your three months view or your six months view you can see all that you can see it in both they're both similar products but the, the dexcom 7 is quite good these guys um um libra sensor 2 they've they've upgraded to like um libra sensor 2 plus They've also upgraded to, I think recently they've gone to Libra Sensor 3. I haven't tried the 3 yet. The 3 is much smaller than the 2, but the reason why I'm still using the 2 is because the 3 is about 20, 25 pounds more expensive than the Libra Sensor 2. So this is the cheap one. And, it, and they, they basically do the same thing. So I just, I'm, I'm sticking to this one. Um, but it's just like Apple and Android, right? It just depends on what you like but i'm telling you both products does the job they are really really good products to to check your sugar level they're all all subdominal anyway so i still the tissue waiting for your under your skin and then they use check so it's basically the same thing the reason why i'm using this one however is because this one is 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 compatible with nhs systems so so my my local um hospital so the doctor would look after me anyway they their system is compatible with this one which means i've i i i added them onto my phone app okay so that means anytime i check my sugar level anytime my sugar level um scans anytime i see my sugar level it's also the way it records on my phone is also recording on on their system at the hospital so that means that whenever I go for my three monthly review or my six monthly review, I go there, 
I don't need to. Back in the days, I used to make a list of all my sugar level many, many years ago. I used to do all that, but now I don't have to do all that because they have it on their system. So when I go there, he just brings my sugar level up. Actually, he reviews it before I even get there and then we talk about what changes to make. So this is the one that, and it, well, I don't know whether it's NHS or, but my own local hospital. Now this one I'm gonna use because of their system. I'm not saying this one is better than Dexcom. They are both the same, but I use this one because it's compatible with the systems of the, of the hospital. Now, how much is it? So this product, right, lasts for two weeks. So one sensor lasts for two weeks. So you could need two for one month. One, they cost like 50 pounds, which is like 100K in Naira. I know it is really, really expensive but it's it's a good product right there's a lot that you can learn um about your body about your diabetes if you're if you're using one of this these sensors i know it's expensive and, and even even apart from it being expensive you can't even see it in nigeria right so my mom who is who has been diabetic for about maybe 44 45 years now um she has gone on to this product um i think the last three years she has been using this product now so but i i have tried to look in nigeria i've looked in the biggest pharmacies in abuja biggest pharmacies in lagos can't find it even i've contacted companies that import medicine for big companies and big um big pharmaceutical firms you can't have it i i rang the company to find out why we can't find it in nigeria they told me that is because it's it's, it's difficult to support after they sell it. It's, it's, it's difficult to have after sales support after they sell it. That means that so when you buy this product, if there is any problem with it, say for example, after four days, there's an issue with it because it's, it's tech in it. Anything, anything tech sometimes can, can, can have issues. It's, connect, it's, connected with, um, it's connected via Bluetooth. So there might be issues with it. So, so if, if I have any issues with this one now, and it's not my own fault, it's, it's, the, it's, it's manufacturer's fault, I call, I call the office in Manchester and they send me a new one. So there is after sale support. But because in Nigeria, you have to call a UK number, which is expensive, or you have to call a, an American number, which is expensive. And for them to even send a replacement down to you, the time it will take, the amount it will cost, VAT, custom wahala, all those things it's just it just makes it difficult i remember one time my mom ran out and and we quickly got maybe like four or five just put them inside dhl send them go go away to my mom it took a lot to get it out it took a lot I, I think it lasted about three weeks to get there and then they were asking so many questions they thought it was something that we we're going to sell like if you want to sell something why would you just put five or six inside it so it didn't make sense. They didn't know what it was. They didn't understand it. It was it was a problem getting it out. So it's it's um, yeah. After sales is the problem, and that's why we can get it. However, if you live in Nigeria and you want to try it, and you can afford it, affordability is there. You can afford it. You, you can afford it. Leave me a message. Leave me a comment. Leave me a message. I will contact you privately, and I will see what I can do about about that if you can if you can afford it but otherwise you can just use the normal glucose monitoring um machine that we've always used all these years they're all fine any any brand you use as long as you you're able to prick your finger get the blood out and check your sugar level because you need that data to 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 control to control you know and make decisions so Always write it down. If you don't have a sensor like this where it records on your phone, if you're using the finger one, just write it down. Morning, you write down. Afternoon, you write down. Night, you write down. Just write it down so that you can build a paper data, a paper database of, of your sugar level. You, you can begin to, to study it, to see trends. Is it in the mornings that I'm high? Is it in the afternoons that I'm high? Is it actually in the night that I'm, that I'm high? So what can I tweak? Can I tweak my diet? Can I exercise at this time? Can I do this? Can I? There's so many things you can do with data. Anyway, 
enough talking about about this product so let's let's insert it let's open it so it just comes like this and this one is going to last two weeks so that's the the um, what you use to apply it and that's the sensor itself um, so you just open it like that you twist this and then you put it in it clicks and that's it it's ready to insert or ready to be inserted rather and then and that's it it's on so uh, the next thing to do now is to use my phone but i'm using my phone to record so i can't is to use my phone to uh, to pair it and then after an hour i'm i'm um, i'm able to use it for the next two weeks um so that's it um remember guys diabetes does not define us we do until next time peace